So I struck out on a couple more things from the thrift store today. I got the Sony Boombox CFS201. Come on camera, please focus, will ya? Uh, unfortunately the tape player does not function. So, looks like I'll have to be getting in this thing and uh, checking the belts out. I'm praying that they're not tar, because that's going to suck ass. Uh, the radio obviously, obviously works and it gets in reception really well. I noticed with a lot of these Sony boomboxes, the reception on the radio is very good. I 25 till the top of the hour. Let's check AM out. Well, how we been raised? Trying to continue that. That is just a form of. Yeah, not so good during the day, but uh, yeah. Nothing. In, uh, you know what I've noticed? I can hear the amplifier, but I do not hear the motor running at all. So I wonder if the motor seized. I'll check that out in a minute. But, uh, score number two is this. This is a little dock for the iPads. I mean, iPods. <laughs> so I saw that. I'm like, yeah, I might as well get that. I don't have a really cool sound device for my iPod except for that um, boombox I bought the other day off of eBay. And yeah, I like the blue glow to it. Uh, the knob for radio and aux is a bit scratchy. But other than that, it does do a good job. Um, the switch is behind it for off, on, and auto. Anyway, you get the idea. Now let's go to the uh, iPod. I have to actually use the iPod's controls, so it doesn't have any controls on the thing. So the other track from Auto Slave, I lost track of my mind there and it played for too long so if that part of the audio is muted that would be why so yes it sounds really good the button's a little dirty so sometimes it comes in one speaker or the other I gotta move the button around Anyway, um, anyway, that is that, and the back is just, you know, that, and it won't focus. Thank you. This was manufactured in 08, and it's model A17H0608, and here's the switch for the off and on, and I went to open the battery door. And the friggin' plastic snapped. I'm like, nah, screw it. I don't need to friggin' get into it anyway. So yeah, that's that little thing there. I think it's really cool. I like the blue glow it gives. Alright, now I'm going to open up that Sony boombox and see what's wrong with that. Okay, so I have finally opened it up and um, the belt is intact, but uh, it looks like it's almost to the point where it's going to start turning into goo. 
but it, it wrapped itself around the motor spindle a few times and I can barely turn that so that's probably why the thing is not making any sound because it's sticking to it Wow, I wonder how friggin' much more I can do with this. Um, it's almost out. It's twisted now, too. Wow. Well, at least it's still in one piece. Holy crap! Wow, how much more is it wrapped around the spindle? Holy cow, this thing is definitely, uh, yeah. There we go, oh my god. Yeah, it's like stuck to the wheel. Hey, at least it came off in one piece, but yeah, that's almost to the point where it's going to be tar. Good. I want to plug it back in and see if the uh, motor spins. It's probably just jammed. That's what any metal piece is touching. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's spinning. Good. So I just gotta give it and get a new belt for it. <clears throat> Fine by me. At least the motor works. All right. So yeah, I'll do a video later of this thing. Um, complete with a belt. Jesus Christ, this freaking phone's pissing me off. <laughs> All right. So that's an easy fix. Thank God the belt's not tar. Jeez, I'm crikey. All right. Later. Oh, actually, um, hold on a second. Just curious if the speaker wattage is on this thing. 3.2 ohms, 2.5 watts. Eh, not too bad, I guess. All right, later.